The Nature Boy has entered the building. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WCW World Heavyweight Championship. Making his way to the ring from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 245 pounds, the Nature Boy. Can you imagine hanging out with Flair? Absolutely, I've imagined it. That's probably all I'll ever get to do. A lifestyle I can only dream of. That's what it's like when you're running with the four horsemen. The energy in this arena is palpable. These competitors know exactly what's on the line. At one point in this industry's history, this match seemed impossible. But the dream match became a bitter rivalry. Ric Flair is obsessed with ending Hulkamania once and for all. Flair is sick to his stomach that Hulk Hogan's considered the icon of this industry. Flair doesn't just want to defeat Hogan here tonight. He wants to humiliate the Hulkster and make him submit to the figure four leg lock. He's burying elbows in the midsection. Kick to the gut. Oh, brutal forearm. Oh, this is not good at all. The pendulum backbreaker stretch. Oh, low tackle. Just punched him right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. God. Enough already. Oh, just scrubbing the face on the canvas. And an elbow drop for added measure. There's always great anticipation when these iconic figures collide. Corey, how does Ric Flair approach this matchup with Hulk Hogan? With confidence. Ric Flair is not intimidated by anyone, even the almighty Hulkster. Flair needs to stay on the targeted attacks to the leg and the knee. Because if Hogan can't put weight on his legs, he can't summon his strength. If Flair can do that, it means Hogan will not be able to use his power for slams or get the force he needs to execute his famous leg drop. We know Flair will stop at nothing to defeat Hogan. And remember, diamonds are forever, and so is Ric Flair. Oh, that's gonna leave a mark. Flair did his homework.
Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Headlock applied a nice short jab to the bridge of the nose. Take it. And Nate didn't see that coming. some tough hits now. At this stage of the match, they are clearly starting to feel the effects of this back and forth. Reversal on top of reversal. Great reversal. And now he's giving you all another chance to simply take it all in. And here comes Hogan. Oh, dropped to the mat. Hogan's in deep trouble. Oh, oh, Maybe oh. not. Maybe not at all, Michael. Here comes the Hulkster. Sit down, Saxton. I can't help it. Hulkamania's running wild. Look at the Hulkster go. And that just won't get it done. to keep him down. Hogan winning that exchange. And here comes Hogan. Oh, dropped to the mat. Hogan's in deep trouble. Oh, oh, maybe oh. not. Maybe not at all. There Michael. comes the Hulkster. Sit down, Saxton. I can't help it. Hulkamania's running wild. Look at the Hulkster go. And his offense meets a brick wall. When your opponent can hang after all that, you're wondering if running a win might just be impossible. He may be in a bad way here. This is where endurance becomes so important in the late stages of the match. He's just 
one final blow away from not kicking out next time. Flair scales all the way up top. I think we know what's coming next. Up high. Hogan getting out of harm's way. Sometimes the match can't live up to the hype, guys, but that was short sure 